Prior to every space shuttle flight, a series of events take place at Florida's Kennedy Space Center that is nearly as spectacular as liftoff itself. The shuttle is rolled out of its processing hangar on a 96-wheel transporter and carried to the 525-foot-tall vehicle assembly building, which was originally built to assemble Saturn V rockets during the Apollo era. The newly completed Columbia made this trip for the first time in November 1980. The first time Columbia rolled out of the processing facility after years of work in there and rolled over the VAB, there were thousands of people out there just to watch that short trip between the processing facility and the VAB. All those technicians that glued tile on, all those engineers that wrote software, all those people that worked in logistics that procured parts, everybody felt that they were a member of the team. Waiting for every orbiter inside the vehicle assembly building are the solid rocket boosters and external tank, which have been raised to the vertical position and attached together. A pair of cranes lift the orbiter vertically toward the top of the building, high above the external tank. It's aligned with the tank, then is gently lowered down and attached to it. Next, this slow-moving six million pound vehicle called the Shuttle Crawler Transporter carries the spacecraft out of the building and toward the launch pad. Fully loaded, the crawler moves at one mile per hour. For its maiden voyage, mission STS-1, Columbia arrived at the pad on December 31st, 1980. John Young, a veteran of two Gemini missions as well as two Apollo missions, was selected to command Columbia. The pilot was Bob Crippen. Though he was an Apollo-era astronaut and had more than 4,000 hours of jet aircraft flying time, this would be his first space flight. On April 12, 1981, Young and Crippen posed for cameras during the astronauts' traditional pre-launch breakfast. In a few hours, they would be flying the first vehicles sent into space without the benefit of previously unmanned orbital testing. It was almost like Apollo again. We hadn't been in space. In 1981, when they flew Columbia, we had not sent humans into space since 1975, six-year absence. So everybody was excited about this. And then there were all these unknowns about this mission. Would the engine work properly? These shuttle tiles that were glued onto the underside of the orbiter, would that be successful? We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Columbia would soon be joined by three sister orbiters. Together, they would make space travel seem routine 